Now we'll continue with the, the density of states. So let us try to see what is the density of states. As I already mentioned, that in an energy band, there are various number of energy levels are there. And every energy levels are discrete in nature. Infinite number of energy levels are there. And every energy level is discrete in nature. So there may be n number of energy states because of n number of atoms present. The question is that whether all these energy levels are being occupied or not. According to the Pauli's exclusion principle, one energy level can occupy a maximum of two number of electrons. So it can go on occupy two two electrons. The question is that how many such number of energy levels are there? See, all these atoms have got energy same, but whenever the atoms are brought closer, the energy levels are going to split and there is a distribution of energy from here to here. Therefore, if I am going to take an arbitrary energy, that is E, and a smallest energy that is called E plus delta E, the question is this, within this number of energy levels, uh, within this energy gap, how many number of energy levels are there? And that number of energy levels is what we call as the density of states. Therefore, by definition, density of states is, is the number of energy levels per unit energy interval associated with the material per unit volume, which is always been represented by G of E. Therefore, I can say the total number of energy levels in an energy E within a small range of energy E and E plus D, which is been given by 8 into root 2 into pi into m to the power 3 by 2 divided by h cube into e to the power half into D. This is what exactly the expression for the number of energy levels per unit energy of a given material, any given material, because there is a distribution energy that is going to take place. Therefore, if you try to take a gap between this here, the energy is corresponding to E. Therefore, I can say G of E is directly proportional to square root of E. Naturally, when more and more energy is here, then there is more and more number of energy levels are there. Therefore, one thing is very clear that the energy levels are not equally distributed. They are not equally distributed. Therefore, I can say very well, if you try to take the total number of energy levels per unit volume with respect to energy, at the lowermost orbit, the number of energy levels are less and as you go to the higher and higher energy level, the energy level goes on, increases and increases and it becomes a maximum. So this is how exactly the distribution of the energy level that is going to take place. Therefore, in each energy level, there are also electrons. The question is that how many number of electrons that we are able to fill it. And this is given by a scientist named Hendrik Fermi and that is called as a Fermi energy. Now, according to the Pauli's exclusion principle, we have observed that every energy level can occupy a maximum of two electrons. We have got n energy levels. So, out of the n energy levels, n by two number of energy levels are being occupied. So, I can go on filling the electrons. At absolute zero Kelvin, I can go on filling the electron till a particular energy. And all these, till this energy, all the electrons are being completely filled and above that, that energy levels are totally empty. Therefore, the highest energy level at absolute zero Kelvin where all the electrons have been filled is what we call as a Fermi level. This is what is been named as a Fermi level. And the energy corresponding to the Fermi level is represented as EF called as a Fermi energy. Therefore, Fermi energy is the highest to occupied level of electrons at absolute zero Kelvin. That is what we call as a Fermi energy. Therefore, electrons are present only till the Fermi energy, but above than that, all the energy levels are empty at absolute zero Kelvin. Now, the question is that what will happen if I am on increasing the temperature? Naturally, when there is a thermal energy, the electron from below the Fermi level, they try to jump to the higher energy level and they try to occupy more and more in the higher energy level. Therefore, there, naturally, there is a distribution of the electrons that is going to take place in the various energy level and this distribution is been explained by a statistical phenomenon given by Fermi and Dirac together 
and this is what we call is a fermi dirac statistics now what is this fermi dirac statistics it says under thermal equilibrium the free electron acquire energy based on this statistical rule where you cannot accommodate electrons more than 2 and as the temperature increases electrons are going to occupy to the higher energy level where at any given temperature the maximum number of electrons in each energy level is equal to 2 therefore there is certain kind of distribution that is going to take place and this distribution was given through a factor by fermi it is called as a fermi factor which is always been represented as f of e which is nothing but it is a probability it is a probability of distribution of the electrons in the various energy level and this probability is given by 1 by exponential to the power e minus ef by kt plus 1 this is what the expression given by fermi now what is this e e is the energy of an electron electron can be having this energy or you can have this energy you can have this energy okay or when i increase the temperature electrons can even occupy higher energy level therefore electron can have any energy at any temperature therefore the distribution or the probability of finding the electrons at a various energy level is given by 1 by e to the power e minus ef by kt where ef is a fermi energy k is the boltzmann constant and t is the absolute temperature plus 1 this is what exactly the distribution of the energy that is going to take place at a very given temperature now let us see how this distribution is taking place with respect to temperature and to understand that i will try to give you three different cases case one first in the case one first what i do is that i will consider at absolute zero kelvin but at a state where electron will have an energy lesser than the fermi energy now we know that in this energy level this is the fermi energy this is the highest occupied level of the electrons all below this energy level electrons are occupied all these below electrons are occupied and all these energy levels are unoccupied by the electrons at absolute zero kelvin now at t zero kelvin when the energy of any given electron less than this fermi energy we observe that there is hundred percent of energy levels are being occupied by the electrons hence the probability is supposed to be equal to one so let us try to see whether we are going to get the probability equal to one here so according to the above equation f of e is equal to 1 divided by e to the power now e minus ef e minus ef here e lesser than ef therefore it is equal to minus quantity it is a negative quantity divided by k into t but t is equal to 0 kelvin therefore divided by 0 plus 1 and anything divided by 0 is infinity but there is a negative sign therefore i will write it is going to be e to the power minus infinity <coughs> plus 1 which is equal to 1 by e to the power minus infinity is nothing but 0, 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Therefore, there is a 100% probability that you find below the Fermi level at each energy levels. So, 100% probability is there, 100% probability is there. But try to take the second case. In the second case, what I do is that I will consider the temperature same 0 Kelvin but at an energy of the electron greater than Fermi energy. Now, at absolute zero kelvin do you find any electrons above the fermi level no that means there is no probability of finding the electron hence it should be zero percent let us try to see whether we are going to get zero percent here as per the equation so f of e is equal to one divided by e to the power e minus ef but e is greater than ef therefore it is a positive quantity it is a positive quantity divided by zero because temperature is zero plus one and e to the power plus something it is nothing but e to the power plus infinity plus one and e to the power infinity is equal to infinity therefore infinity infinity plus one is also nothing but infinity okay which is equal to zero therefore there is zero percent probability there are no electrons that are been present above the fermi level so there is a third case the third case is that if i try to take the temperature above zero kelvin it may be very greater than or just greater than but i'll try to consider at the an energy equal to the fermi energy now if the temperature is increased what will happen now there is a probability that these electrons will jump to the higher energy level okay they try to occupy higher and higher energy level but the probability for these electrons to jump to the higher energy level is the least but there is a probability these electrons jump so if these electrons are going to jump let us try to see what is exactly the probability distribution which is given by e to the power e minus ef but e is equal to ef set e is equal to ef here set therefore 
E minus E F under 0, therefore it is going to be 0 divided by temperature, there is a temperature plus 1. But e to the power 0 by anything is nothing but it is going to be e to the power 0 plus 1 and e to the power 0 is nothing but 1 plus 1 therefore plus 1 which is nothing but half or we call it as a 50 percent. 50 percent. Therefore there is always a 50 percent probability that you find at the Fermi energy. That means if you try to put it in terms of a graph, I will try to represent this in a graph. You see here. This is what the y-axis and x-axis and the y-axis I'll try to give you the probability and the x-axis I'll try to give the energy and imagine this is the Fermi energy. <coughs> Below Fermi energy, the probability is equal to 1%. Therefore, it is 1% probability. Therefore, there is 100% that all the electrons are present here. 100% electrons are present. And there are no electrons are present above the Fermi energy. 0% electrons are going to be present. And these are cases at absolute 0 Kelvin. But if I increase the temperature above 0 Kelvin here, when I increase the temperature above 0 Kelvin, some of the electrons just below the Fermi level, they try to jump to the higher energy level and they try to occupy the higher energy level. So these electrons are being depleted and the depleted electrons will occupy here. Suppose if I increase the temperature further, number of electrons are also go on increases and they try to occupy here. But exactly at the Fermi level, the probability is always 50%. Therefore, more and more is the temperature, there are more and more number of electrons are going to jump from here and they try to occupy higher energy level. But however, the probability for these electrons which are far below, they do not have any opportunity to jump to the higher energy level. Therefore, this is how exactly the distribution of the energy that is going to take place according to the Fermi concept.